What's going on you guys and welcome back to a different perspective if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy So a buddy of mine my boy Billy sent me a clip on Facebook that he really wanted my opinion on he watches the channel He's a fan and a supporter of the channel He really wanted my opinion on this clip and then he followed with sending me a longer version of the same clip but with other people responding and agreeing to it now I seen the original clip on TikTok. I saved it. I don't know how long ago. It might have been a month ago, but I just never got around to uh, covering the video. But my boy um, Billy sent this to me. And, but because there's a lot of people responding and agreeing with what it is that she has to say, but I feel like it's only right for us to hear everybody's viewpoint that may be similar to hers and uh, further the conversation. So I know I don't talk for a whole minute now without y'all knowing what I'm talking about. This video is titled, I'm convinced that a lot, hold on, let me pull it up on the screen. I'm convinced that a lot of y'all men don't like women, y'all like little girls. That's a bold statement. That is a bold statement, but let's see what she's talking about. Y'all boys, girls ready? I'm ready. <clears throat> so. I'm fully convinced that a lot of y'all men don't like women, y'all like little girls. Y'all walk around talking about, it's just prefer. I just have preferences. Talking about no saggy skin, no cellulite, no stretch marks. Titties need to be all the way up here. Okay, titties tiny and up here. Um, no hair on your body at all. And she needs to be small, cute little voice. Yeah, what you're describing. Is a feminine woman that is in shape. It's a feminine woman that is in shape. Because her herself don't fit that mold is that why she's upset let's let's hear is a prepubescent girl a child the problem is y'all don't like women y'all like children and it's weird as hell i'm fully convinced that pause okay so this is a repeat she's gonna say it again somebody's gonna respond to it right so let's talk about that real quick she's let's be honest she's projecting she is upset because her herself do not fit that mode now, this is the other perspective. Had she been the female that fit that mold, a grown woman, small in the way, she got a little, she got a little flap going, um, smaller, perkier breast, smooth, hairless skin, whatever it is, more of an eloquent voice, more of a, a feminine voice, because she's giving off masculine energy. Had she been a woman that fit that mode, she wouldn't be saying the stuff that she's saying. Am I right or am I right? She wouldn't be saying this stuff. She doesn't fit that mold, so she's upset. But like I said before, like I said before, I find it to be very, very silly when women come out and say stuff like this in regards to men's preferences when, for one, they have their own preference. And they don't want anybody to bash their preference. And for two, I bet you she's had many of men. I bet you she's had plenty of men. I bet you men try to get at her till this day. Why is she concerned with the ones that don't want her and what their preferences are? It makes no kind of sense. I can see if all men had the exact same preference. And women like her that don't fit the mold of what that preference is, as she stated, didn't try to get with her or didn't want to be with her. Then there would be a necessary argument. Because before she opened her mouth, I didn't see much wrong with her in the way she looked. But it would make more sense. Let's say all men got the same preference. Small girl. Small, perky breasts. Everything that she mentioned, right? And guys only went after those type of women. And then you'll have women like her who are upset because they feel like there's no guys to go around for them. They can't get a guy. Then that would be a valid argument, but that's not the case. I'm pretty sure she has no problem getting men. Or maybe she has a problem keeping them, but I'm pretty sure men approach her. She's a decent looking woman. And outside of that nonsense, she said, I didn't see anything wrong with her. A lot of y'all men don't like women. Y'all like little girls. Y'all walk around talking. She dropping nothing but facts in that video. Actually, the older I get, the more that I see that it's way more 
grown ass men and the little girls than I ever could have imagined. It's one dude who was super predator. I'm gonna tag him in the comments. He got videos on his page. His exact words, and I quote, older women are jealous of 14 and 15 year old girls because they shape like goddesses, unquote. Okay, now he's pandering. What this dude is doing is giving examples of pedos. Huh? That's not what you were supposed to do, bro. You, 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 uh, what, what, how, what's the, what's the term that goes around on TikTok that the, that the kids be saying these days? Understood the assignment. He did not understand the assignment. This man is bringing actual predators into the conversation. Now, being honest. There are many examples of men that are into underage females, but that's not the majority of men. We can't sit here and have conversations like that and make it seem like that's the majority. That's not true. It's foolish. The reason why he sees it more now than he did when he was a kid is because of social media. All of us are seeing way more of everything being exaggerated. And not just being exaggerated, but more stuff that would have been under closed doors is coming to the forefront now. Because everybody got a dang on high quality cell phone camera. Started with people like Kevin Samuels calling 30 year old women old. Oh, now he coming after Kevin Samuels. They talk about 18 year old girls when they 50, 60 years old, old enough to be her grandfather. Getting sick. And that's male privilege. That's patriarchy. Men get to say pedophile. Feeling like that in the open and like I say his video's still up But I call out a dude who literally laying on his back scratching and screaming in a parking garage With skates on make it make sense. This man is a whole fool talking about Kevin Samuels calling 30 year old women old He clearly don't understand the conversations does he? Y'all like children, and it's weird as hell. So this is my trigger warning. Pedophilia is a direct product of patriarchy. So please watch that whole video. It's great. She's basically talking about how beauty standards for women, mainstream beauty standards. No, it's not. That first statement she made, no, it's not. Those people that are into that stuff are just sick in the head there's tend to revolve around youthfulness so women have to be young looking thin skinny demure and here go another woman that doesn't fit those those standards those molds and she feel like oh she's free to talk about it because she's not that if she was that she wouldn't be saying what she's saying it's almost as if they have no um empathy for grown women who are slim, who are fit, who take care of themselves, who are perky. It's like they have no empathy. It's like it's almost as if they see them and they're jealous of them. For them to be talking about them like this. As if those women, as grown women, don't exist. It's, it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like they're saying. Any female over the age of 20 automatically is she she got weight on her, she's hairy, she's fat, she's she's masculine, she's whatever. It's, that's what it sounds like listening to them say this mess. When I know women who are 30 years old, petite, <laughs> perky, all of that. Man, I wish I had them on the show right now to watch this video. They will be very disappointed in their fellow women. Taking up less space. And this is be taking up less space. Why? Because you taking up more? That what your issue is? <sighs> Baby, love yourself. Looking thin, skinny, demure, taking up less space. And this is because patriarchy is about the power that men hold over women. <sighs> So instead of her going to the gym and getting slim, men hold power over women. And when an adult woman is seen as childlike, ignorant, all that, this gives power to the man, such as the power that an adult has over a child. 
So what you're saying is you're trying to be masculine and you're trying to have power over a man. Is that what she really mean? This is why some older men, not all, only date women that are much younger than them. But the power dynamic... Part of the reason why a man may date... Because my preference is younger. My preference is women that are younger than me. And it's not for none of the dang old reasons that these fools are talking about here. I mentioned the reasons why. One of the... I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to tell you something that somebody uh, DM me saying. One of the reasons why... My preference is what it is as far as dating women younger is because the older they get, a lot of them, the older they get, the further they get through life without locking down a man, the more baggage they tend to have. Rather it's kids, rather it's their mindset, their mental health, whatever it may be. That's why I prefer younger because there's a better likelihood that they didn't go through all of that yet. Right? They didn't go through all that. So they're better in spirit. They got good spirit. I had a lady DM me about, she's in her late 40s. And she was like, oh, I heard what you said in your video. And for one, she was trying to come on to me while at the same time being upset with what it was that I said. She's like, I heard what you said in your video um, about all women over the age of 30 being depressed. Um, wrong. I'm like, go back and listen to that video again. That is not what I said. I said baggage, and then I followed with saying majority of the women that I know personally actually suffer from depression. I did not say that all women have depression, but you know people hear what they want to hear, right? And then she followed with, that's not true. Not all women over the age of 30 have depression. Oh, I never said that, but okay. But she says, and then here's the kicker. She says, even though I do. <laughs> Uh, not to laugh at her depression, but to laugh at the fact that she's proven the point that I stated very clearly. She says, even though I do have depression, um, I think I'm a good catch. This Whatever the heck she said, it was like she was trying to qualify herself to me, but she failed, right? Okay. ...from patriarchy relate to the prevalence of pedophilia. Bell Hooks discusses how patriarchy relates to pedophilia in her book, The Will to Change. I'm fully... Just because you read a book, on that don't make it true. Ignorance. Convinced that a lot of y'all men don't like women, y'all like little girls. Ooh. Can we be honest about the fact that 18, 17, 18, 16, because this, the age of consent is 16 in some states, people like to, you know, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 year old girls, young women if a man 15 20 25 years older than you wants to be with you it's not because he sees your soul okay perfect example of this is mr leonardo dicaprio this man is 46 46 he has never in his life dated somebody who was younger than the age of 25 it's no never dated anybody oh okay yeah she had it on the screen older than the age of 25. <laughs> Smart man. Because he knows. He knows. If he wants to be with women that still hold their youthful appearance. To date them within that age bracket. Not only that. When we're saying youthful. We're not saying childlike. We're saying young adult like fools. But not only that. That mindset. That baggage that they may or may not have because they haven't been through all the BS. The women that he's dating, pretty sure they don't have any kids. That's a whole other world of issues that you don't want to get caught up in if you're a single man with no kids of your own. Or if you even have kids of your own. You don't want to have to deal with the baggage that may come along with dating somebody that has kids, you know. Leave Leonardo DiCaprio alone. He ain't do nothing to y'all. You, you, what? Amazing Twitter user made a um, graph of all the women he's dated in his life. Here's his age as it goes up over his life. These are the ages of the women he's dated capping off at 25 when he was in his 40s and late 30s. Shout out to Leo. I'm fully convinced that a lot of y'all men don't like women. Y'all like little girls. No, I'm going to add to this too because I think that this person is absolutely... 
can we can we just state the obvious now? I'm seeing a trend. I'm seeing a trend. I'm looking at her arm here. All these women that are having something to say right now got a little weight on them. They don't fit that mold. I'm not saying that they look bad. So far, all of them were decent looking women. But they don't fit that mold, so they got something to say. Absolutely. And, hey, this video long enough. We might have uh, um, a, a young lady in here that might fit the mold. ...is absolutely correct. They do tend to want pre-pubescent bodies. And when they do want... Oh! That sounds like a preteen. Pre what? No! Bodies. They want curvy bodies that they see in like the Kardashians and other people who go get body altering surgery. No, that is also not true! <laughs> I'm tired of the foolishness, man. I am tired of the foolishness. I ain't never in my life Spoke to a guy, had a conversation with a man, and he said, oh, yeah, I want a chick that got a BBL, a fake butt, and fake boobies. No. If they be with him, they be with him because they're just simply attracted to him. They're not asking for those things. The females are deciding to do those things. Because the truth is, and I can contest to this, more often than none, do guys try to convince their females not to go through with the surgery. Talking to a young lady recently, and she was telling me that she sent in uh, pictures of herself to get a BBL, and they told her, ma'am, you, 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 you ain't got enough weight on you for that. And I think she looked fine as she is. I would try to convince her otherwise to not get it. I was talking to a girl earlier this year who I was dating, and I mentioned this before. She talked about wanting to get her breast done around her birthday. Which she hadn't yet, but you know, whatever, she still might. And I told her, I'm like, you don't need to get your breasts done. They look great the way they are. Usually guys are trying to convince the females otherwise. But females, when they make up their mind about something, they still want to proceed through it. You can't really tell them much. Especially if they're coming out of pocket themselves for it. So that mess she just said is not a true statement. She's just looking at mainstream media and assuming it is. And this is not the anybody getting plastic surgery because that is your body that is your money you do you boo and then she made that statement that's exactly what it is their body their money it's not the guys that saying hey baby I, I like that fake stuff can you get it for me but when you are growing curves by yourself like naturally you get stretch marks and I have literally around with males in the past who told me that they liked how curvy I was but hated that I have stretch marks well that's dumb they, they, they. They told you they like how curvy you was. They're not telling you that you need to they gon' get plastic surgery done. Huh? Your argument doesn't doesn't just it doesn't align. It doesn't sound right. I love stretch marks. Some guys don't. Like how are you gonna want the thickness but then feel disgusted by the stretch marks? Like the, <sighs> the stretch marks are does it, does it ever make y'all do that sometimes, fellas, listening to some women talk, just, just, uh, just, let's send a little shiver down your spine. Proof from my body that I grew these curves. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Y'all are disgusting and baffling. <laughs> she came on here, she came on here talking, see, like, this... <laughs> She talked about herself. She took it she took it from being one thing about what the topic actually was and then made it about her. You see? That's what all of these women are doing so far. It's really about them and they and their selves more so than it about the man and this preference that they just came up in their head as to why these guys have the preference they do. I'm fully convinced that a lot of y'all men don't like women. Y'all like little girls. Yeah, absolutely. And not just for the physicality differences. It's also because the younger that we are, the easier we are to control and manipulate. Plus, men like to be revered for basically... 
to control and manipulate, she says, rather than it rather than her looking at it as a respect factor. A lot of times with women who have been through the ringer with enough men, they become more difficult to deal with. Leonardo DiCaprio dating those women that he's dating is because he's viewing them as less difficult. Okay? Let's get it right. Viewing from nothing. And the older we get, the less intolerant we get of their shit. They want us to... You see? She said what I just said. The more guys that they deal with, to look up to them with those doe eyes full of admiration. Yes. Yes. And here's the thing, men. Many of us would love to revere and admire you. We would love to submit. She's telling herself. Submit to a quality leader. But y'all have been leading for a real long time and you're driving us into the f***ing ground. So you can't be trusted anymore. No reverence for you she's telling herself she done been with a, a number of guys who have damaged her to this point to where she potentially may be intolerable i don't know this woman but i'm assuming quit making us mother you so we can remain our playful selves grow up and show up I'm fully convinced is that a lot of y'all men don't like women. Y'all like little girls. If you have not watched this girl's whole video, go watch it. But I just want to reiterate exactly what she's saying. Men are f***ing creep. Alright, now, here we are. Someone who may fit the mold. She is slimmer. Let's see what she got to say. I think I may know where this is going and why. They're f***ing weird. Every man I've ever talked to or been in a relationship with has always told me, I don't need makeup, I don't need the lashes, I don't need it, whatever, I'm pretty without it. I know I'm pretty without it. But you know what they really want to say? Nope, 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 not doing this. We're not doing this. <laughs> We're not. Most men prefer their women to be natural beauties. I wake up like this. My beard might be like, you know, gotta be flat and all over the place. I gotta comb it out. But other than that, I wake up like this. Natural. Every single day. I'm decent looking as a natural. We would want our women to be decent looking as well as natural. We've seen what makeup can do. It can take a fugly woman and make her a freaking drop dead gorgeous diamond. Because I look younger without it. I don't look like a bad. I look innocent and I've had multiple men multiple men tell me I look innocent that's their reasoning excuse me innocent uh, oh my god I don't think they get it I don't think they get it the way she looks right now she look like she might be out there she got this this wild hot pink color in her hair Tattoo on her neck. These three piercings in her nose. I would assume she got a body count on her. But that innocent look. The reason why men like females to be more innocent is because they don't want women to have high body counts. And if you shed that makeup and it makes you be viewed as someone who has a lesser body count then that's what they want. At least it pays that psychological trick in their mind to make them think that they're with a woman that hasn't been with a bunch of men. My ex literally told me that I looked innocent without all of that and he preferred me that way. Yes, because he's also don't want to be out in public with you and people looking at you like, oh, he got, oh, <laughs> she, she get around. He got, he got, she for the streets. <laughs> No man wants to be with the woman that other people view as being for the streets. I made that mistake once when I was in my early 20s. I was, I was hanging out with a girl that was known to be for the streets. And it made me look bad. Never again. 
Then when we broke up, he started talking to a 17 year old. A 17 year old. How old were y'all? Was he 19? That's, that's close in age. I'm not saying this right, but it's close in age. Tried defending himself by saying that she's almost 18. She's almost eight. I'm almost 24 years old, and I would not dream of talking to a 17 year old. It's not a preference. You're f***ing gross. <laughs> See, I don't know what the heck the age. I don't know how old he was. She said she was 24, or she is 24 now. And how long ago was that relationship? Because if he was her age now, then yeah, he wrong. <laughs> he all the way wrong for that. I'm fully convinced that a lot of y'all men don't like women. Y'all like little girls. So, story time. Yo, what's with this makeup? It may look like her eyes are bigger. <laughs> it actually looks cool. When I used to work at the club as a dancer, one of my what kind of dancer? clients decided that he wanted to book me for a dance. So we were that kind of dancer in the dance and we were like 20 minutes in. He said to me, this was like, maybe he was like 60s, 70s, mm. said to me, you know, you remind me so much of my granddaughter. Maybe because you do. Sir, I am not clothed. And I, I remind you of who? Yeah, that, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> that's a bit creepy. I wonder, is he saying that because he's seen his granddaughter unclothed? And the whole everything of this woman reminds him of her? Or is it just a face? And did he realize that before booking her to dance? Or after? He wild for that one. And that was not the only time I was told that. Or asked if I was actually over 18. Yeah, because sometimes females that are working the clubs like that don't be of age. They could be as young as 15, 16 and, and somehow make their way in there. So, yeah. It's not, I'm not saying it's okay, obviously, but it happens. Get together. What's an acting? But that's that's a different. That's not. That's not a man that necessarily wants to be with you. That guy is an actual creep. This sixty-year-old man talking about you remind him of his granddaughter. He can be an actual creep. That's not the same conversation that we're having here. But anyway, y'all, look. That's the end of this video. I want y'all to leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Please do. Please do. Um, best comment I will be pinning to the top. But y'all know what time it is, man. You like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, you can follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at all the kicks. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See ya.